VOR work. You ready? Yeah. All right. So here we go. So what VOR is in the area? Here's a VOR. Fillmore, right? Fillmore, yeah. Yep. So I want you to take the big knob all the way to the right. All the way to the right. This takes you to the nearest. You see that? Yeah. And then small knob, you could do nearest. Airports, intersections, NDBs, VORs. So right now we're on VOR. Fillmore is FIM, right? Yeah. So go ahead and highlight and then scroll down to Fillmore. What's the frequency? 121.5. 112.5. Right? So let's plug it into the nav. So 112.5. Camera Tower, Cessna 738, Uniform Hotel. Holding short. Good. Moving into the active. Solid. Right across the Now, here's what we'll do. Cessna 738, Uniform Hotel, Camera Tower, hold short. Go to heading mode. Because we'll play with the VOR. Good. Now, press the CDI once. See VOR one? So right here, we're on nav one. You see that? Now we, could, we could switch that. We could switch frequencies. Did you move the heading bug? Yeah. To line it up to get it. Oh, don't worry about that, because we're not yet put, we didn't put a uh, thing in yet. Oh. So still keep tracking towards uh, uh, Toronto. Shit. That's good. That's fine right here. Doesn't matter. It's all the same direction. Okay, good stuff. So you see the VOR one? Yeah. This is nav one. See yeah. FIM? Right. Good. Let's tune in ID. Do you remember how we do that? Um. So go ahead and find the Fillmore VOR on your sectional chart. Should be right near us. Every time you touch a VOR, I want you to tune an ID. So go ahead, go to the sectional chart. Good. Zoom in. Where's Camarillo? Where are we at? There you go. Where's the Fillmore VOR? No, cancel, cancel. Oh, shit. Where's the Fillmore VOR? Right here. Should be... Is that... No, that's Palmdale. Fillmore should be close. Uh, I'm going with... The Q. Gorman. Even closer to us. Right here. See this? Yeah. Fillmore. See this Morse code? Yeah. See that? So check this out. You see this said ID? Yeah. Press this in oh, yeah. and press the nav one over here. Uh, nav, uh, where's nav one? Nav one right there. Good. Now we'll make sure that they match. So let's listen. Dot, dot, dash, dot. Let's see. Yeah. Matches? Yes. Okay, good. We could press this off and have one off. Good. So just tune in. Traffic, 12 o'clock. High, one mile. Shit, we're climbing right into them. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we're getting closer. Uh, no factor. They should be off our left. We have them in sight. See them? Uh, okay. Cool. So we just tuned in ID it. So that's the Fillmore VOR. Uh, Easy? Yeah. So you see the VOR right here? Is the VOR to our east, north, west, or south of us? East. It's northeast, right? Northeast, yeah. Cool. So the v HVOR has 360 degree radials that extend from it. So we are about to cross perpendicular, right? What radial is shooting out of the Fillmore VOR? Uh, 250. Here's 270. Here's 250, zero. Yeah. right? So the 250, right? Correct. Let's go ahead. You see this little, you see the uh, big one is the barrel, small one is the course. Move the course to put two fives. Actually, yeah, put 250 on the course, the small knob. Rotate it all the way to 250. Yeah. There okay. you go. So you see the 250 is this way? Right. And we're coming at it this way. So look at that. 250 is this way. We're coming at it this way. That kind of makes sense, right? So guess what? When this needle lines up, that means that we're on the 250 radial you see that so in a little bit the needle should be coming in should be coming in correct right. and then that means that we're on the 250 radial of the um, uh, uh, Fillmore VOR make sense good needles coming in go. isn't that cool you see this yeah see this yeah. cool so the needles coming in it's coming in so would it automatically turn to track it? Not at all. If you want to turn to track it, you press nav, and then it puts the VOR on standby. Ah, Look you. at that. And once it reaches the center, the yeah. plane will turn and track okay. it. Okay. So let's see what that looks like. Let's do some training here. Now it switched to VOR, but now it will actually track it well, outbound we, because we put the course, correct. and the course is basically we heading 250. So we need to say, does this make sense? Yeah. Good. Solid. So let's go ahead back to heading, and let's do this over there. This heading's good. Good. 
So now here's what I want you to do. With that in mind, which radial off of the Fillmore VOR, give or take, will take us in the direction of Toronto? Approximately. Uh, I don't know. The this is the 0360, right? Yeah, so the here's our course. Radio. 030? Yeah. Cool. So let's go ahead and put, what's the reciprocal of 030? Uh, uh, 183. So we need to track the 030 outbound. All right. So actually that's the course. So let's do 030. Okay. Good. We'll put the 030 on there. going. Zero, three, zero. Good. Perfect. Now, just like I taught you with the heading bug, go ahead and move the heading on the extended center line of the needle, and I want you to intercept and track the zero, three, zero radial of the Fillmore VOR. Make sense? Yeah, it might be a little... Uh, You're all good. Doesn't matter. We're doing it outbound. Anyway, park it on the extended center line. More to the right. There you go. That's good. And just leave it there. And now we fly that intercept. You see a slice there of pizza go. is forming? It's on an altitude count. Good, altitude's coming up. So you see the plane is turning now to intercept the 030. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Good. There we go. And as the needle starts moving in, I want you to move the heading to keep it on the extended tail. So keep it there. We still have time to go. We still have time to go. We're good now for a few minutes. Now we've got some updrafts. Might be a little floppy right here for a little bit. Cool. There's 95, plane's leveling out, and let's cruise the plane out. Crooked the plane feels oh, with that. Yeah. It's crazy. Cool it off a little bit. Actually, for the sake of time, let's go ahead and do the three, uh, 360 radial outbound. So switch the course, put 360 on there. 360? Uh huh. So go to the left. Good. Which is 0, zero, zero as well. That's the same thing. 360 and 0 is the same thing. Oh. Good, 360. So now put the heading on the extended center line. Let's do that. Good. And you see here, the zero right here. So okay. now we're turning to intercept this radial outbound from okay. the Fillmore VOR. Needle is already moving in, so keep moving the heading. All the way, more, 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 more. Good, we're a touch late to the party. Good. Good. And what I want you to do, all I want you to do with the heading bug is do whatever you need to do to go ahead and get back on the radio and maintain that needle centered flying outbound from yeah. Fillmore. Oh, it might have to go a lot because it's going to It's all good, ahead. yep, so we overshot it. Good, good, good learning. So all I want you to do is just get that needle centered and track on the 360 outbound from the Fillmore VOR. Easy? Yeah. That's it, that's all I want you to do. So now we'll start leading stuff. We could even start turning a little earlier because you see we'll blow through it if we start moving it at that time. Does that make sense? Yeah. Good. Because you can even cheat and look over here. See this? So, yeah, we're going to compensate for the wind a little bit too. Good. So if we have a crosswind, good. We could go a little more into it. Solid. Yeah, good thinking. Pretty close. Not close. I want it to be perfect. So make sure that needle is centered. Show me a centered deal. I want to make sure that it cements in your head. And if we need to go more into the wind, then we'll do that, because we're experimenting right now. Let's close the cowl flaps. Temperatures look good. Good job. Good. Good, so we're tracking on the 360 radial outbound from the station. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Is that way? Yeah, zero, three, six, zero, same thing. Correct. Going away from the station. Correct. 
northbound. Right? Yeah. Easy. Now. From it. Good. If I told you to intercept a track, the zero, by the way, show me a centered needle. I want you to compensate for that wind. We need to do this way, into the wind. Because oh. you see the wind, we have 18 knots from the left. Yeah. So we need to crab into it. Remember that? Oh, okay. Good. So I want to see you doing that. I want to see you executing that in real life. And see whatever correction, nah, that, that's probably too much. That's too much. Because the needle will come in, so you want to bring that heading back in. Good. Bring the heading bug back in. Go to 355. 355. 355. Good. And let's see what that will do for us. You see what a centered needle looks like? Yeah. That's what a centered needle looks like. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Go 354. Good. And that's literally how we experiment. So in order for us to track 360, we need to point the plane on a heading of 354 to compensate for 16 knot left crosswind. Does that make sense? Solid. You see what a centered needle looks like? That's what I'm talking about. Anything other than that, we're not centered. Even that's not 100% centered. It's a little bit off. We're a little bit to the right of it. If I told you to go ahead and intercept and track the 020 radial, would we turn right or left? Zero two. You need to go right a little bit. Cool. So let's set zero two zero on the course. Zero two zero, not zero zero two. Oh, sorry. Where the hell are they? Uh huh. And now I want you to go ahead and intercept the track. It's the same method. Park the heading bug on the extended center line of the needle. Let me go a little bit to the left of it because. No, for intercepts, don't worry about the wind because we first want to go to it. We worry about the wind when we maintain that needle. So it turns at a standard rate turn, right? The, the plane does standard rate turn, so yeah. don't worry about that with autopilot. Good. There you go. That's good right there. And then we wait for the needle to come in. The moment the needle starts moving in, you move your heading bug to keep it on top of the okay. uh, needle. Not sure. Oh, there's Fox Field over there. Uh-huh. VORs are not complicated. No. Fire. So fires are a great way to tell what direction the wind is blowing from. And that con it's confirmed by the plane. You see that? The wind's coming from there. You see the smoke? Yeah. There you go. Needle's moving it. Solid. Good job. Absolutely solid. It's like walking a dog. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely tree. south. Uh-huh. There you go. That's what we call tracking radials. And you could do this all the way across the country from VOR to VOR, radio to radio. Not much to it. Is this easy or easy? Easy. Easy. I want, I want you to show me a centered needle, Robbie. Oh, yeah, I, you, I right. want you to show me a centered needle. Take all the time in the world you need to make it centered. I want to see what you, what that looks like. You reset the fuel before, right? Yes. Cool. Solid. So what happened there is we turned to intercept it too soon, so now we're paralleling the, paralleling the course. So we need to go more to it. Good. Good. Solid. Nice and easy. Good understanding. You're creeping towards it. I like it. Good job. So if it's not getting the job done, go a little steeper. So go uh, 025 to get the needle to come in. Uh, there okay. you go. It's coming oh. in. Good. It's 
Coming in slowly but surely. Your E6 <laughs> Ooh, look at that needle, Robbie. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Right now, look. Look, we're on the 020 radial of the Fillmore VOR out there. Easy? Not much to it, right? 